Hi, welcome to another FSD Beta 9 video. Today, we are in downtown San Jose. We have now activated full self-driving and let's see how the Tesla system can handle the downtown of San Jose. All right, uh, some of these green pillars are actually more to the right than the red ones were, so I'm curious to see how it goes around these. There's a lot of pillars scattered throughout this entire city to make it easier for bikers and pedestrians. All right, so the left light has just turned green, but the straight stayed red and it went. Handled the pythons just fine. There's a park car parked mostly actually in our lane, but it did a good job at handling that and going between both the car on the other side of the road and the parked car. Yeah, that turn was really good. I um, don't If you guys have seen our last uh, San Jose video, uh, beta 8.2 and if a you similar left turn. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Yeah. Definitely worth the watch. Beta 8.2 in a similar turn had a much tougher time. Um, just check it out. It was it was a crazy time. So that was a bus stop lane, and it went around it. So that's good. This 10th Street uh, turn has recently changed. They redid all the lines and redid. Um, and the Tesla detected that and actually used the cameras and around the original the yep. pattern. The biggest thing I've noticed on eight on nine versus eight point two is that it's so much more confident, especially, especially that left corners. change. Like we took a right hand on the left, and that was cool. That was smooth. Yeah, jerked a wheel here and there, but as a driver, it felt smooth. So we've arrived at our destination. Let's enter a new ping. All right, we put in a new navigation and let's see how the system can do. So now we're getting a little combination of uh, downtown and suburbs, but we're going back towards downtown now. So up here again, we have a little tiny little area we have to go. A pedestrian that was about to cross. I took over because I had sensed it. I didn't do anything, but I thought I was gonna curb the wheel. So I took over there. I really wish I didn't take it off, but I don't know. It was sense. I sensed it. It was getting a little bit close. I, I I understand why you were nervous. I could. I have a pretty good view of it from right here, and we were like that far from the curb yeah I, it's hard to tell what it's gonna do next you know so if, it, I, if it jerks just a little bit yeah if you haven't done so yet make sure to follow our instagram page at ai addict official we're gonna be giving away some te free tesla accessories on there so uh, make sure you're following us so you don't miss out on that post Yep, we post a lot of previews and stuff of our videos on our Instagram page as well. We did, so yeah. If we, you're interested in our content, uh, you'll get the first view on Instagram. I have to say, it handled that pi those pylons back there pretty well. We were going like straight at them, and then the system mm -hmm. saw them and just went right around them. Yeah, all, all I agree. It was it was honestly incredible, especially compared to the last time we did San Jose. It tried to hit everyone. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, I mean these pylons though. I mean, COVID bikers, they try to make it more of an inclusive city. Yeah, right. We all have our opinions on these pylons. I think everyone has a negative one. <laughs> Oh, so it was about to put us in a bus lane, but it didn't. So that's nice. But I thought about it for a second. Yeah, I think it saw that widening and went to center, and then it could it read that there was like bus. a little bus stop box. Yeah. So got a little entertainment there, someone probably <laughs> running red. I was impatient. Yeah. Just downtown, everyone's running reds. Oh, okay. That was going straight for the curb. Yeah, I was going, they uh, added a restaurant partition because of COVID there, and the car, for some reason, was going towards it. So 
So we are about, I'd say a foot into the left lane right now and there are cars approaching. So I wonder how they're gonna like this. So turn its blinker off. So the blinker was for the uh, lane Yeah, change. the blinker was for the lane change. It just turned it on kind of late. Not really a big deal. There wasn't anyone there. Yeah, it saw the valet, it saw the valet sign, and uh, readjusted about three times in that turn, but it saw it and got around it. It was definitely hard, even like sitting in the car, to see that valet sign before we started to make the turn. So I think oh, it so. adjusted decently. So right now we need to make a right-hand turn, but it's blocked for construction. So I'm stopped at traffic control, used stop gear stock to control. So I hit continue. It says it's checking. And let's see what happens here. Oh God. <laughs> Yeah, so it was supposed to turn us into here, but now we're in a row closed in the middle of a red light situation. And oh God, let's just cut this. This is cut. It kind of basically got us to our destination. Like, I don't, I don't really know. Yeah. What to say about that? That's an awkward gray area because we would be able to go down that road. It was closed for construction. The Tesla wanted to turn right to go into the closed construction. So it thought it was making a right-hand turn. And as it went, it instantly realized, oh, oh no, I can't go this way. But we were already in the intersection and it got a little confused. And I don't know what to do in that situation. But it happened. Yeah, it got a little confused, ultimately inconsequential. And we also put a destination that the car couldn't physically drive to. Yeah, that is correct. Our destination was behind the walls of the closed road. So, right. we're, so we're turning right, but there's a couple walking and it detects them. But it doesn't have our blinker on, which is concerning because there's a car behind us. But there we go. So if you watched our 8.2 video, you will see that in this area, it actually kept weaving in a giant S through the whole intersection. But now on nine, it stayed absolutely flat and straight. To give space to people on two wheels or on foot. Oh, okay, there is an oncoming car right there. Um, we made it, but the car hesitated in the middle of the intersection. So obviously back there, it hesitated in the intersection, but I used the accelerator pedal to get us out of that. So that way, you know, there was no, no harm for either me or anyone around us. So we're changing navigation mid full self-driving. We'll see what happens. Oh, it's trying to go left, but that's odd. I'm gonna oh, cancel it, it that. No, it needs to go right. Oh, I don't know why the left blinker's on though. And then there's pedestrians here. And I tried to take us down the railroad path. Sorry, people, it's driving itself. It just seems so hit and miss sometimes with pedestrians. Yeah, like 80% of the time, it'll be great and well, just detect them and just give them so much space. And oh, so sometimes it's. Mm -hmm. All right, I want us to turn left into that parking lot, but, oh, there's someone jaywalking, it detects them. It wanted us to turn left in that parking lot, but um, tried to get in a maneuver where it could turn left, but it just, you know, couldn't get there. So now it's rerouting. Back there where we, uh, I had to take over with the pedestrians in the crosswalk, the reason why I think it went, even though there's pedestrians there, is because I think it may have tried to go on the railroad track and now it was open and there was no pedestrians there, which mm -hmm. in 8.2, it did try to do the same thing. In all fairness, I'm pretty sure everyone has accidentally turned towards those railroad tracks. I wouldn't even necessarily say it's like 16, like being a new driver, just being new to downtown San Jose. Um, I'm sure lots of tourists and people who move here for the first time uh, get confused by those light rail tracks in downtown. Certainly. So there's a cop up here with its yeah, lights on. Right on it's interesting. I am taking control. I don't know what it did there, but it wanted me to take over. 
It's probably because it saw the police and it obviously is not programmed, I don't believe, don't quote me for that. And so once it detected that, it probably wanted me to take over immediately. So at the very least, if that, if it is corrected that it, rec it, it was responding to the police, um, it's trained to recognize police and emergency lights, but it's just not uh, trained to react to them properly. I did it good because there's these walls here and the car there and it actually did that well. Yeah, this is the exact spot where we went around this block like four times trying to um, get it to do it perfectly. There was a big glare. So we need to turn right, but then get in the far left lane. I don't know if it can do that many lane changes in such a short period, but let's see if nine can do it because 8.2 was not able to. Oh, it oh, did wow. it so well. It did it so well and on its first try. Again, you should go back and see your 8.2 version of this. Um, it's called San, uh, Downtown San Jose Round 2. Um, we'll link that. Wow, that was so much better. All right, we got some more narrow streets, cones falling over. Construction. Handled it well though. Let's see if it moves us around these cars. It did, yep. and boom. So that is the end of our uh, first pass in downtown San Jose on Beta 9. Uh, huge improvement comparison to Beta 8.2. Um, 96% you said of people who view our videos are not subscribed so please go ahead if you like our content subscribe to our channel um, liking our videos tells YouTube that people enjoy our content and helps us get to the top uh, we would really appreciate it if you like or dislike any interaction with our videos um, helps us in the in, in organic search thank you so much for watching see you next time goodbye